hello everyone greetings and welcome to our new series of black pearl so today's series will be another series of digital forensics and we will be focusing on data carving in this particular series and yes you are right so what we are going to show you how you can get your data out of your disk image so the data get sometimes may corrupted or sometimes may get encrypted on the incident that you are working on and by which technique actually you can get the data out of your data disk is called data carving. So for doing that for tools that we are going to use is called Photorec. It's a freeware tool and you can download it for free. So current version is 7.2 beta version but we are going to use 7.1 that is that uh, that is a stable version as far as uh, the current video is concerned. So we are going to use that and you can get as much as data possible depending on your operating system architecture and the way the file is currently present on your data disk, right? So there are some scenarios that using Photorec your ransomware encrypted file also can be, uh, can you can get back those files, but that is not 100% sure that you can get all of your data which got encrypted by your ransomware, but there are still chances that using this tool you can get those data out of your disk image without doing any further delay let's hop into the practical demo and one small request if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do that and give us a thumbs up so that you we get uh, encouraged by your views and we get you more videos such like this one okay so stay tuned and watch the video full We will cover this uh, demo in two parts. First, we will show you how you can uh, get back your data using Photorec and using command line tool. And in second part, we will be using Photorec, the command line rather that user interface and uh, the GUI tool per se to curve your data and get back your data from a corrupted or formatted um, external drive. Right. So this is the website from where you can download uh, the tool. I will post uh, the link in the description box below. You can download it from there. So if you come here and if you just click here Windows 64 version, you can see the uh, the version and the zip file is getting downloaded. So I'll uh, cancel it now because I have already downloaded that version. So if I come here, if I come into my disk, so as you can see that uh, I have a zip file downloaded and I have extracted that as well. Uh, so what we need to do, so uh, we will copy this file and we will go inside uh, C directory, inside program files and we will paste it over here, okay. So this uh, current version and this current software doesn't require any installation as such. So you just need to download it unzip it and paste it to your uh, windows directory okay so once that is done so you will be uh, good to uh, go with your um, uh, command line tool so as you can see here if you come inside so if you see there are two uh, executable available one is photorec win.exe and one is qp uh, hotorec uh, win.exe so uh, this exe we will be using for command line so what we will do now, we will set up the environment variable um, so that we can run Photorec from anywhere. For doing that, we will click in um, start and we will go to system. And from system, we will go into system info and we will go into advanced system settings. Okay, so advanced system setting, we will click here in environment variable. So as you can see that, uh, so we have set up that environment variable for this uh, particular user and for the system as well. So for this current demo, we just need to add this uh, environment variable to this uh, user only. So we will go into edit and what we will do, we will just come here and we will copy this whole path. Okay. And we will 
go back to our um, system settings sorry yeah this one and we will add a new one okay so we will click a new and we will paste it here so all set and done click ok click ok and ok again okay so that means we are set with the system variables and we can run photorec from anywhere we want so the first intro we have taken one disk image so this is a windows box and we want to uh, extract all the data files that is currently present in this disk image okay so i will create a new folder and i will uh, recovered uh, images okay so i'll come here and what i will do i will just open cmd so because this is the particular version that we will be using um, the command line tool so that we will need the cmd okay so we will go inside our desktop okay and if we do a dir as you can see that disk image uh, disk evidence dot image file is already there and we need to parse that particular file using photorec okay so uh, what was the name of that file so we need to uh, mention that so for doing that we will uh, go back again to c directory program files disk disk and this one okay photorec win dot exe okay we will minimize that and we will run photorec underscore win dot exe then we will mention that disk image name okay so that's all we need to do if you click enter so as you can see photorec uh, win dot exe is now loading and getting the run okay so as you can see here so our disk image is loaded and it is asking to pause that disk image so okay so we will hit enter to proceed now these are two options available here one is unknown and one is ntfs so if you want to parse the whole image and if you do not know the partition of the disk image you can select that unknown option as well so that will parse the whole disk for this current demo we are going to parse only the ntfs format okay but before parsing that we need to mention so as you can see bottom page here search option file opt and quit options are there so we will go into file option here so you just need to click that right side arrow and we will come here so as you can see here so these are the available option uh, uh, which actually you can carve out from your or we can recover from your disk image okay so there are a lot of options available so for this current demo um, we will use only the jpg images so we will try to recover the jpg images that is currently present on that data disk so we will come into the jpg and what we will do as you can see it is already selected okay so uh, so what we actually do if you want to select any other option like uh, for example if you want to carve out idx file as well if you want to come here and if you want uh, just um, press space so as you can see it is selected okay so we don't need that so we will keep it like that way only so we will uh, select x uh, jpg format and what we will do press s for default selection and b to save the settings so we'll press b and you can settings recorded successfully we will hit enter and we will a press enter again to quit okay so that means we were we told uh, photorec uh, executable that we need only image formats okay so we will come back into a search and we will hit in enter so again there are two options right so two options only for extension 2 extension 3 that are the file system formats and so we are not sure about which file system that we want to search so basically uh, we will search the whole disk images so for doing that it is giving us two options that fat file ntfs and hfs so we will use that option only okay so we will hit enter again and we will scan the whole data disk so for doing that we will select come down uh, just click the down arrow and we will select the whole so now it is asking you 
to select on which folder or directory you want to dump your image files that will be recovered from your disk image. So if you see here, so we are currently in desktop directory, right? So we have just created a recovered image, uh, uh, recovered image folder here. So we will come here and we will hit enter to select it. Um, okay, so we are inside now recovered disk image. So now it is saying C when you are sure, sure that your destination is correct. So we will hit C and as you can see that it is started. Okay, so it is recovering my JPG images that is uh, currently in my data disk and as you can see recovery is completed. Okay, so what we will do we will just go into the recover image folder and it will create like this kind of directory format uh, by which you can identify which how many directories and how many folders that has recovered and if you come here you can see all my data disk and all my images that was currently present on my data disk has been recovered okay so this is like uh, quite useful so like that way you can select your other options like what are the other uh, present options like excel format pdf file all you can uh, you know you can select uh, and carve out from your data disk image so this particular tool will come handy when you are working on any kind of forensic uh, data acquisition and data recovery format okay so we will quit now and we will show you another demo of uh, of the particular gui format and a user interface format and how you can get back your data from your formatted uh, formatted external drive as such okay now for uh, carving and recovering data as you can see here we have inserted one external drive for sandisk and there is nothing inside it um, you can see here uh, what we will do now we will launch the data disk and test disk uh, that is the gui format for doing that we will come here and we will run is added administrator okay so now it will give me the user interface like this before going to proceed let me create a new folder in my desktop um, come here new and folder and you can see uh, recovered files recovered files okay so in this current uh, directory i will recover all of my files now if you come here and if you select the second partition as you can see that um, sandisk cruiser blade so i will select that one so i want to curve and i want to recover what was the data that was present in my sandisk before i have formatted it maybe um, by mistake something so that can situation that is the current situation that can arise to anyone okay so again the file system type we will keep it like fat uh, in tfs format only and we will scan the whole disk image not the free uh, free scan from the allocated unallocated space only we will select the extract file format from the whole partition so you can see it is already selected now so what we will do um, so there are options like file format also so here you can select all of your uh, and the needed file that you currently want to recover from from your uh, corrupted or formatted disk image or formatted external drive but for this current demo we will keep it like that way so we want to recover all of the files that was currently stored and i will click hit search so now it is uh, as you can see that it is recovering the files and there are quite lot of files present in my uh, formatted disk uh, as per se formatted external drive so it will keep on searching like that way and at the end of this current um, scanning it will give me all of the result that is currently having okay so now you can see that uh, the recovery is completed now and it has recovered total 750 files uh, from my formatted external drive so there are a lot of files png text jpg gif format pdf text document mov so this is the some movie format and zip file as well and other file as well so if you go back to our recovered file format if you just click here you can see there are a lot of files as we have shown you previously as well so if you select here if you see the properties if you see uh, total 70 mb in this particular folder 
and in this particular folder if you come here and properties if you see 1.05 gb data so totally like um, like 1.1 gb data has been recovered from your formatted uh, external drive okay so this is a quite useful tool and uh, quite useful tricks and tips how you can actually get back your data in forensic manner and when you have a situation like that you have uh, formatted your disk you have uh, your disk has been corrupted or something like that okay so i hope you have uh, enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for the new videos to come up thanks for watching